topic is about two genetic hits or more or less to cancer. Now, we all know about cancer. What is cancer? Cancer is a disease which is caused when cells divide uncontrollably and spreads into surrounding tissues. Now, this cancer mainly caused by changes into the DNA sequence which is present into the nucleus or into the particularly into the chromosomes. So, here is a picture showing that cancer formation. Cancer causing agents, they should, they can be internal or external that will firstly affect the normal cell specifically into the DNA sequences or into the genes or into the alleles. And here proto-oncogenes are present. This proto-oncogenes activated or mutated into oncogenes and then it forms cancerous cells. Now, for this cancer formation, mutation is necessary which happens into the DNA sequences or specifically into the genes or alleles. If one kind of mutation or particularly one mutation or one translocation happens into these alleles or genes, then it is called one hit cancer formation. If two mutations happens into the genes or alleles and it converts uh, the cells into cancerous cells, then it is called two hit cancer formation. And if multiple factors including genes and mutations occurs and transform a normal cell into a cancerous cell, then it should be called as multi-cancer formation. Multiple factors included in these uh, heaps. Now, if R successive mutations occurs in some cells at constant rates that should be K1, K2 to KR per unit time, and if the size of the cell population remains constant, and if the cells with an intermediate number of mutations have no growth advantage, then uh, the formula is considered about the age specific incidence I could be K T to the power R minus one, or putting ln in both sides, ln I equal to ln K plus R minus one into ln T. In case of colon cancer, this R is equal to six. Now, there are exceptions which cannot follow these. These exceptions are osteosarcoma, breast cancer, and most commonly known colorectal carcinomas. Now, in osteosarcoma has an increasing incidence during adolescence, whereas in breast cancer, this incidence increases more slowly after the menopause. And in most colorectal carcinomas arise from adenomatous polyps, that is, it doesn't follow the mutation which, uh, which have no growth advantage, but it should be have growth advantages in this case. So it will not follow this particular formula. Now, going to the next slide, we will get, here we can say that first mutation, then second mutation is happening, then third mutation, then fourth mutation and malignant cells are forming or tumorous cells are formed. After that, one hit model, we have already discussed it. But what happens that if the one hit model of carcinogenesis is a dose response model based on the assumption that only one genetic change is required to transform a normal cell into a cancer cell. That should be single event and specific translocation happens between two alleles or a particular gene sequences. Now, the best known example is chronic myelogenous leukemia or CML. Here, a reciprocal translocation happens between two chromosomes that is uh, chromosome number 9 and chromosome number 22. Chromosome number 22 is shorter than chromosome number 9. And uh, in chromosome number 9, ABL gene or Abelson gene is present. And here in chromosome number 22, BCR gene is present. Now, after the translocation, what happens? Uh, there is a fusion. Fusion happens between these two chromosomes. 
and a, a fused gene or fused chromosome big form being formed this chromosome is also known as philadelphia chromosome and here the both the genes bcr and abl are combined and form this philadelphia chromosome which is which is a which is a cancer causes, causing agent which causes this chronic myelogenous leukemia so here is particularly one translocation one particular specific translocation is happening between these two chromosomes and forming this type of cancer so it is uh, and best example it is a best example of uh, one hit model now coming to the next slide barkitt's lymphoma it is another example of this one hit model now in barkitt's lymphoma it is a form of non hodgkins lymphoma non hodgkins lymphoma is uh, more dangerous than the hodgkins lymphomas and here uh, it is formed into the immune cells called b cells this barkitt's lymphoma what happens there the translocation reciprocally happens between the chromosome number 8 and the chromosome number 14 and here important oncogene conversion happens that is myc oncogene which 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 will be activated in this case to form cancerous cells now in normal chromosome chromosome number 8 is larger than chromosome number 14 and here two genes are present myc in the chromosome number 8 and, and igh in the chromosome number 14 and here specific reciprocal translocation happens and the 14q plus chromosome have do to both combined igh and myc genes present and it it forms the barkitt's lymphoma so the proto oncogene mic converts into oncogene in this case it is another example of one hit model now coming to the next slide two hit model this is very important and the this hypothesis was proposed by nadson now most tumor suppressor genes require both alleles to be inactivated either through mutations or through epigenetic silencing silencing to cause a phenotypical changes so if one mutation happens into one g particular gene or allele so what um, it ca can be able to form cancer in this case if the both alleles are affected or mutated then this can be uh, this can be a cause of forming cancer so it is called two hit hypothesis or two hit two hit model because here two mutations are occurring the most common or known example is the eye cancer retinoblastoma here germline mutations can be occurred dna restriction fragment length or polymorphism rflps supports this statement about the two hit model hypothesis uh, and rb1 or retinoblastoma 1 became the first tumor suppressor gene to be characterized tumor suppressor genes are those genes which suppress tumor formation if this rb1 gene can be inactivated then it will cause the tumor formation now here is a germinal mutation and no germinal mutation in germline mutation 90% of cases are forming retinoblastoma because the parents uh, from the parents the offsprings are having one mutated chromosome and the other is normal but after some changes or after some mutation uh, nine, in 90% cases of offsprings having another chromosome becomes mutated and it forms retinoblastoma in the other case 10% became normal or carriers in the other hand if no germline mutations occurs then what happens then a normal 
mutation occurs and after that another mutation should be occurs or there are two somatic mutations should be happen to form a retinoblastoma in case of germ no germline mutations and here 90% 99% of cases should be normal now coming to the next slide here the mechanism of action of rb or retinoblastoma protein in the cell cycle regulation is described what happens e2f is a factor which can be joined with the dna strand and can be able to form transcription now in case of uh, if rb are activated or non phosphorylated then rb bound to e2f factor and phosphorylation of rb if happens then the rb length increases by the activity of cyclin cdk and this hyperphosphorylation or uh, hyperphosphorylation of rb releases e2f factor and what happens this e2f factor migrate to nucleus induce transcription into the nucleus and protein factors for cell cycle progression happens and more and more proteins are produced so this is the regulation but if rb factor are phosphorylated then what happens uh, then it uh, the e2f factor forms transcription more and more and there could be there could be affected e2f also which can be able to form cancer now here are two models which are describing about this retinoblastoma sporadic form and familial form in the in case of sporadic form mutation is occurring and mutant rb gene are present in the case of affected two alleles are mutated two rb genes should be mutated and in case of familiar form it should be also uh, it comes from a parent and the offspring or f1 generation is the carrier and in the f2 generation what happens there should be another mutation there can be another mutation happened and uh, in the next generation the affected child or retinoblastoma forming child should be appeared in the the, the nardson's two hit hypothesis for the generation of retinoblastoma here uh, normal individual and hereditary retinoblasts are uh, shown and here what happens occasional deletion of one of the two rb genes can be happened but it can be able to form tumors in the other hand inherited mutant rb gene can be able to mutated the another allele or occasional inactivate inactivation of other functional rb gene copy can be happened so there should be a chance of having affected retinoblastoma or tumor forming uh, child excessive cell proliferation happens in this case and leading it to retinoblastoma now for the multi hit model the occurrence of two or more than two substitution at the same site is known as multiple hit here loss of loss or inactivation of apc gene adenomatous polyposis coli gene of fap fap increases cell birth rate whereas loss or inactivation of tp53 gene which can form p53 reduces cell death rate so it is very important p53 is also called guardian of the genome in adenoma or carcinoma or colorectal cancer happens not only due to loss of apc and tp53 but also for the presence of one copy of ras ras oncogene so it is very necessary about multi hit model multiple factors multiple genes multiple mutations are happening to form a particular uh, type of cancer 
hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer happens due to inherited mutations occurring for mismatch repair or mmr genes most frequently msh2 and mlh1 mutation in tg fbr2 also increases growth rate here are two fact, uh, two instability that is chromosomal instability and mutation microsatellite instability is very important in this portion so what happens there is a normal epithelia or benign now apc factor is involved in this case and dysplastic epithelia forms now keras or ras oncogene formation happens and it form adenoma cells now from the tp53 p53 protein involves in this case and here mmr genes are also involved so it forms the adenoma into carcinoma and metastasis metastasis cancer formation or malignant tumor formation happens by this case this is a multi hit model multiple apc keras p53 mmr are included formation of benign to malignant form now about the p53 and cancer we already have known that p53 is called the guardian of the genome if dna damage happens or damaged dna enters into the cell cycle it will form abnormalities or hypoxia then what happens p53 is activated and mdm2 is also attached with p53 and this p53 uh, at, uh, what does the, the p53 then done this uh, dna into cell cycle arrest in the other hand can be uh, form it to normal cell death or apoptosis or the dna can uh, can be arrested into the cell cycle or damaged dna uh, or otherwise it can be normally could be dead by the uh, by the uh, apoptosis we we all know that apoptosis, apoptosis is the normal cell death now if cell cycle arrest happens of the damaged dna by the p53 then dna could be repaired and this repaired dna can be can be able to restart the cell cycle or enter into the cell cycle but if apoptosis happens then the death and elimination of the damaged cell could be happen and by this way cellular and genetic stability happens so it is called the or p53 is called the guardian of the genome now if p53 is inactivated or not present enough then it can can't be able to uh, and uh, if uh, a damaged dna formation happens and enters into the cell cycle then it can't be able to join with it and can't be arrested into the cell cycle uh, in the other hand can be apopto uh, apopto uh, can't be done apoptosis so this damaged dna forms more and more damaged cells or dnas in the cell cycle so it can be a cause of cancer formation so p53 is very necessary for cancer prevention now in breast cancer normal p53 becomes mutated and aggregated into p53 this mutated p53 reduce cell migration and proliferation and forms cancer progression so it is very important now for the five hit scenario for colorectal cancers it is a multi hit model of tumorogenesis the best known example is colorectal cancer for this and here reaction of the immune system or tolerance happens so normal epithelial cells of the colorectal uh, colorectum normal epithelial cells two apc mutation inherited now after the two apc apc mutation inherited adenomatous polyp started to form more and more rapidly and here ras mutation happens 
RAS mutation is the process by which proto oncogene is mutated or converted into oncogene for cancer formation. And here adenomatous polyps are grown more rapidly. 2P53 is also mutated or inactivated by which colon carcinoma or chromosomal translocation happens and metastasis colon carcinoma is being formed. And this is the short elaboration of this one hit, double hit or two hit and multi hit models. Hope you like it.